Hi, I'm Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Pedology, and I'm really excited to be spending the next 45 minutes with you talking about online video course production and what it can mean to your practice and to your ability to actually spread your message throughout the world. We live in an amazing time where through technology, TV, internet, uh, we're just, you know, Facebook, YouTube, podcasting, we're just able to reach people in so many different ways in so many different places, like all around the world. It's very, very exciting. And what I'm here to do today is talk to you a little bit about course production. I almost, I call it um, automatic course production or reverse marketing, because most people, when they need to want to sell their product or service, what do they do? They knock on doors. Hi, do you want to buy my service? No. Hi, do you want to buy my service? No. And to me, that is the most difficult way to grow your business and to sell. The easiest way is, hey, Scott, I heard that you were really good at podcasting. I need to have a podcast up. Can you help me? Yes. And being a problem solver uh, brings people to you. And of course, uh, in the health field, people have lots and lots of problems and they just need to learn who you are, know that you know what you're talking about and develop trust. And of course, the way that we develop trust the most is through listening to people, watching people and uh, having an experience with them. Now, you can do that physically one on one, but it's a very slow process. And by using video courses, we're able to leverage that whole process so that uh, you don't have to be teaching everybody one on one. You can be teaching one on many and then those people will self select themselves. Not everybody is your ideal client. It's really important for you to understand who that person is. And then once you do, be able to get your message in front of those people because you want your ideal clients, your ideal clients want you, and, uh, and then you can change the world. And that's really what we're all about. So uh, the, the vehicle that I use, that I teach about the most uh, is Udemy, udemy.com. You can see it here. Uh, on the screen and it has uh, been around for six, seven, eight, nine years, has uh, 30 million students, probably 20 or 25,000 instructors. It's a large site with huge amounts of traffic and it's a great way for you to begin reverse marketing, having people approach you about your business. So uh, what I'd like to do now is talk a little bit more about what I've done on Udemy so that you can have an idea of uh, <clears throat> what may be possible for you. This is my Udemy profile. And as you can see, it's got my picture. It has a little bit of a description of me. I have 181,000 students around the world. Uh, I have 114 courses and for it's not likely you're going to need to have 114 courses because your business model is going to be far different than my business model. And I have 4,454 reviews. And to, I, I have to tell you, four years ago when I put up my podcasting course, I never dreamt in my wildest dreams that I'd be over 100,000 students. I never dreamt that I'd have 100 courses. And the idea of having 4,400 reviews was just like, not even in my consciousness. So, uh, and that's probably going to be your experience too. Once you get started and you create some courses and you, you get some traction, you're going to be amazed at the growth that you're going to see. And I think that's probably really important to understand is when I got in, there were 5 million students, uh, which seemed like a lot at the time. Now there's 30. Seems like a lot now. But in a few years, I suspect there'll be 50 million students and then 100 million students because this is one way in which education is going. Uh, companies are downsizing. They are getting rid of their human resources departments or outsourcing them. They're getting rid of their trainers. They used to you know, have a group of people from the company would go somewhere. Someone would come in and train them. That's not happening anymore. Instead, it's kind of like, take this course, take that course. Or you need a skill. Go, you know, here's here's the the education budget that you've got. Go find the course, take the course, um, and then of course a lot of people are uh, you know becoming more entrepreneur. They're having side hustle businesses. 
they want to start their own business. They want to be a little more entrepreneurial and they want to shorten their learning curve. Okay. So, I mean, you can get on and you can fiddle and, uh, you know, try to figure things out yourself if you want, but it's really good to have a teacher and a mentor or a coach who can help you through things faster so that you can get to the point where you're actually producing uh, an, an income from that skill if that's what you want to do. Or if you want to improve in skills in your business, then having someone beside you helping you is, is far faster than, you know, reading a book, for example. Not to say you shouldn't read a book. These are all great, you know, great things. But, um, you know, having a teacher who can give you that good one-on-one -on -one help is really, really important. So, yeah, so here's a couple of my uh, courses. Oops. And as you can see, I've got over 10 pages of courses. Some are new, some are hot. Uh, they're all different topics, okay? And if we go here, this is what the back end looks like with my profile, right? We've got the names, we have the biography, uh, the websites. And on this side, we've got where you put your, your photo, where you put your payout settings, pay PayPal, Payoneer, any account information that you've got, privacy, and, and the rest of it. And this is really important. When you, uh, when you join Udemy, is take some time to figure out your public profile. Udemy, because it has such high traffic, the traffic stays there for long periods of time, uh, and they are very good at marketing, this page could end up being on the first page when people search for your name, when they search for information about the topic that you're teaching. And so you want to make sure that it's professional. This is not a sales page. This is a this is who I am bio page that hopefully will explain to people why they should be working with you. All right. So let's go back uh, to Udemy and just take a quick look at that site. OK, we have 30 million students. They're really proud of that. Uh, they are the marketers like they are not. Um, they are not course producers. They said, you know what? We're really good at selling. We want to crowdsource education. We want people, doesn't matter if you have a PhD or you've just been in the field for 30 years and taught yourself everything, right? They don't judge the courses. They make sure that the quality of the audio and the quality of the video is up to their standards. There's a certain process that they like you to go through uh, to get approved. So not just anything gets thrown up there. But generally speaking, this is an opportunity for you to be in front of 30 million people who are learners and buyers and might be interested in your topic, right? So uh, we just scroll down here to the bottom. As you can see, they, they show off a lot of courses. Now, you, what you may notice and might be a little bit uh, concerning is the price. Right now, it's in Canadian, $12.99. They are the Walmart of online video courses or whoever the deep discounter is in your neighborhood. Yeah. So there are two ways that you can do courses. One is you can be a boutique course creator. In other words, you can charge $200, $500, $1,200 for your course and get a small number of students in, which is a fine, uh, a fine business strategy. Okay. It's not mine. And so, I leave it alone. I just focus on one thing, which is getting courses into Udemy and predominantly letting Udemy do the marketing and the selling. OK, so if you are really good at sales and you're really good at driving traffic and everything else, then being a boutique video creator would be a really good idea. If you have an email list of 10,000 people or 5,000 people or you have a YouTube channel with 10,000 subscribers, then that would probably be a good way to go. This is not a everybody should be doing Udemy uh, talk. This is a, this is giving you some ideas on how you can uh, leverage your knowledge using video courses. OK, so most people are either starting out or they're really focused on one topic. Maybe it's acupuncture or massage or that sort of thing. And when you are really focused on one topic, you tend not to be uh, really interested in other topics, which would be video editing, uh, marketing, building an email list, building a website, doing all of these things, right? So that's part of where I come in, but it's really where Udemy comes in. So if you're somebody who has a small following, 
then this is a great way to turn that into a large following. And that's what this course is all about. So yes, you can do really expensive courses. Uh, you cannot put them on Udemy because predominantly Udemy sells courses for 12 bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks. And that's just their model. And that's just the way that they work. And it's important you understand that. And because of that, when you're creating a course, so if you are creating a uh, boutique course, you know, let's just say it's five hours, six hours long, and you're going to be selling it for a thousand dollars, then you're going to want to have proper lighting. You're going to want to have, you know, really good, you know, lavalier mic to get the sound perfect. Uh, you're going to want to have a really good backdrop behind you. You're going to want to have an excellent camera. And so you're probably going to have a crew come in. They're going to have the mics. They're going to have the cameras. They're going to be doing that. Then you're going to want to have a professional editor. And you're looking at thousands and thousands of dollars to create it. Now, you're creating the course with no with a lot of risk, let's put it that way, right? You're investing $5,000 into your course, you're gonna sell it for a grand rate, get your money back if you get five students, but can you get five students? And uh, how long is it gonna take for the all, you know, all of this to come together and actually be done? You have to plan out the course, you have to record the course, you have to get it edited, you have to get it hosted, you have to build the website that sells it, you have to build the membership site where the stuff, I mean, as you can see, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and longer and longer and longer and generally speaking each one of those steps takes a couple if not five years to be good enough for the quality that we're talking about with a thousand dollar course with Udemy it's a nine dollar course it's a ten dollar course so first of all you're not going to do a ten hour course and sell it for ten bucks right that's going to be just like uh, you know the second thing is you don't know if it's going to sell so one of the things that really makes me sad when I'm in the instructor group on, and, and listening to other instructors and learning and, and sharing and being part of the community is this story, which is I spent six months, 12 hour days making my course. My course is 12 hours long. It's been live for a month and I have three students. Ugh. Like, why did that person do that? Right. What I like to do instead is what I call guerrilla course production, right? Which is basically you have a good camera. It's an HD camera, a camcorder, like a Logitech 920 or 930. You have a good microphone. You have an adequate background. You have good lighting. You know, sometimes you want to spend a couple hundred bucks and get the, the uh, video lights yourself. And that's really good. Depends on how much you're doing, whether you're traveling around. Um, and then you want to do an hour to an hour long course because that's easy, simple, quick, and you can put it up and then, wow, a lot of people like this course. I'll do another one because I can, I can talk for days about this topic, but I'm only giving you an hour, right? I'm only giving my students an hour and I can do a second course and it can be a level two, a level three, level four, or I can go wide. Like I could be talking about massage therapy in general, and then I could be talking about you know, how you massage the neck, how you massage the back, how you massage the legs, um, different types of massages that you could do, hot stone massage, Swedish massage. Um, you know, so it just, you can go deep and you can go wide and they're all different courses. And then of course you can upsell people from one course into another course, into another course, into another course. And that's going to make you a little bit of money. Okay. So, but here's the thing, Udemy is paying you and giving you students, and these are buyers, okay? If you do the boutique thing that I described where you've got the website and you've got your own membership site and you have all this stuff, then how do you get people? Well, you have to market it somehow, you post things on Facebook. Um, generally speaking, you run ads. So you run Google ads or Facebook ads. So now all of a sudden you're paying Google $10 to send somebody to look at your page who's totally cold. Who knows why they clicked on it? They're not a warm lead, they're a cold lead. And the chances are you're gonna get a one, two, three percent uh, conversion rate, which is why you need to charge so much 
for your course because the advertising to get the people to your page and then convert them is expensive. Udemy is saying, hey, we're going to give you $5. We're going to give you $10. And we're going to give you somebody that's interested in your course. And then when they're done in the course, they're probably going to be interested in another course that you do. And so on and so on and so on. So the way you need to think about this is I am getting paid for leads because these people that come and take your course, what are they going to want? Well, they're going to want you to coach them. They're going to want you to teach them. Maybe they're going to want you to actually work one-on-one -on -one with them physically in the same city if, if that's the case. Uh, but generally, <clears throat> when I'm teaching all of my co-instructors, I don't have clients, I have partners, is these people are going to spend an hour with you watching you on a video and they're going to love you and at that point they're going to want more so you can invite them to a three-day retreat on a desert island somewhere to uh, you know to to learn more and go into more depth of whatever it is that you're teaching and doing uh, or they're going to want you to give them consultations over skype and you can consult with them uh, or they're going to want to be coached if you're teaching them, you know, how to become a massage therapist, just to continue with that example. Um, and away you go. Now, you may say, hey, I have a practice and all I want is people in my practice to do better. Right. So I've got enough people coming. Maybe I'll get a few more. But you're talking about a worldwide thing, Scott. And I go, yeah. So what is it that you always spend a lot of time doing? If a new client comes in, you probably spend an hour with them explaining everything. So you just take what it is that you're talking about in that hour, turn it into a Udemy course. Someone comes in, you talk to them, you say, okay, here's a card, there is a link, go to that link. Buy, you know, you can give it to them for free or you can charge them $10. Watch that once you're done. Make an appointment with uh, the front desk, come back, and that talks about all the things that you have to teach people over and over and over and over and over, which means you're cutting hours and hours of your day that's non-productive into hours that becomes really productive. They come back, they can ask you really intelligent questions, you can say, great, blah, 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 here you go. Your long-term or the, the your clients and patients that know you, you could be saying, I'm noticing that everybody is whatever. So I'm going to do a course on how to lose, let's just say that they're all 10 pounds overweight, how to lose 10 pounds, or how to breathe properly, or how to relax when you have an anxiety attack, or, or whatever the problem is that you know how to solve, and you're just leveraging yourself, right? Then when they come in, you can go deeper. This is not about replacing yourself as much as it is getting their level of knowledge to a higher degree so that they can use your expertise at a deeper level. All right. So if you're a chiropractor and there's certain things that you always tell people to do when they are in a car accident and they've hurt their neck, do a course on that. And then when they come in, watch this. And then they understand everything that you're doing. They understand everything they should be doing when they're not with you. And hopefully, in the course, you are dropping seeds that tell people, you know, you can't adjust your neck yourself properly. Come and see me. This is how often you should be seeing me. And they become like permanent patients, clients, or customers of yourself. The other thing that happens with Udemy, so some of these things I'm going to tell you about will be yeah, I can. This is really fits in with what I'm doing, and it doesn't. And it may not fit in today. Maybe it'll fit in tomorrow, or next week, or next year, or maybe it never will. But I want to kind of give you all the options. So basically, what we covered right now is this is going to help you retain your clients. This is going to help you get your new clients on board faster. Um, it's going to help raise the uh, understanding of what you're doing with everybody and create more loyalty. Now, the other thing that happens when you do this, these courses is, uh, particularly when you work with me, is you get lots of students in. And they may be paying students, they may be free students. To me, that's not important because what's important is you start getting a lot of reviews, you get a lot of students. Udemy is the one saying, that's a five-star review, <laughs> you know, not you. 
You've got 35 star reviews. That's not you talking. It's, it's a third party, which is really important. They're also saying you've got 2,000 students. Well, maybe you get to a certain point where you realize you have taught more people, according to you to me, how to do what you do than anybody else in the world. I have 21,008 podcast students in one of my 15 podcast courses, all right, my basic one, my, my foundational course. I can safely say that there's, it's not likely that there's anybody in the world who's taught 20,000 people how to podcast. I, you know, maybe one. So, and I don't say that, and I don't shout it from the roofs, but everybody who's in podcasting knows it and, because they pay attention to what's going on. And the result is after I put this course online and after I started getting these students in and these reviews, doors opened up that would never open up otherwise. So I started getting calls. Scott, I'm doing a conference. We'd like you to come and talk for 40 minutes on podcasting. Oh, well, that's cool. And I got people calling me up and saying, Scott, my good buddy Bob wants to do a podcast, and I told him that you were the guy to see. Oh, thank you. That's reverse marketing. People know who you are. They watch what you do. They see this, and they go, wow, this person really knows what they're doing. They've got a lot going on, and I want to be a part of it. And so that's, the, you know, those are kind of the main reasons why I think it's so important regardless of your field of expertise that you consider putting together not one but series of video courses on your on your field and some you get into a bit deeper some you get a little bit wider uh, because it's going to bring you a ton of leads so if Udemy will pay you for the leads great because you're going to make a lot more money off of these new customers and clients and patients than you'd ever make you know to be honest on Udemy. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to create new leads for you and to cement the loyalty of the customers that you have now. All right. So let's just take a quick look at what Udemy says about Udemy. Uh, they have 30 million students. They have 100,000 courses. They have 42,000 instructors. That went up a little bit since the last time I looked. They have 190 million course enrollments. And I don't know what 22 minutes of video means. And they're in 50 languages. So very, very well established. There are other places like this that you could look at. But to me, what sets Udemy apart from everybody else is the fact that they will sell your courses. There's a lot of people that say, oh, we've got this great course software. How do I get customers? Oh, well, we've got a training program and we show you how, like, it's not easy, folks. It's not easy. And if you think 42K instructors is a lot, let me tell you it's not. Because there are literally hundreds of thousands of categories and topics that people can teach on. When Udemy started, they really focused on programming languages, teaching people how to do, like, Ruby on Rails for Apache servers type stuff, like high tech. Uh, computer type stuff, <clears throat> and how to get famous on YouTube uh, or Facebook marketing. Those are kind of like the two big groups. But when you look at the internet, what's really big on the internet? Weight loss, dating, uh, business. And health. There's one more. I forget. I forget what it is. Anyway, those categories are not really huge on Udemy. So as it grows and it becomes more like, as you grow, you become more similar to the full market, then those courses are going to be growing in, uh, in popularity as well. And we've seen that. A year ago before Christmas, I came out with a couple weight loss courses, and I was like really surprised how poorly they did. This year, wow. <clears throat> They're right up there amongst my top courses. So this is also not a short-term thing. This is a long-term play, right? You get in, you, you work the system, you create the courses, and over time, you build momentum. Now, some people are really lucky, and for whatever reason, 
boom, they can, you know, they make $70,000 in a week. And that happens in specific instances when you're in the game, right? And as an example of that, a fellow learned that Apple was coming up with a new software. Nobody knew it. He said, oh, wow. So when it came out, he dived right in, spent the whole weekend, did nothing else, learned the software, learned how it worked, made a course, put the course up uh, by Monday or Tuesday. Udemy said, wow, you're the only one with a course on this topic. Can we promote it? He was like, of course. And they promoted it. And in, in the first month, he made 72000 And then it, you know, and obviously it dropped off from there because it was this big, like, push people into something brand new. If he hadn't been making courses and they had nothing to do with programming, he wouldn't have been positioned to be able to take advantage of that. So you may be asking yourself, how can I tell uh, if my topic is a good topic? And recently, Udemy has been revamping their site and also adding new tools for the instructors. And one of the tools that they've added is called Market Insights. And what this does is it gives you an idea of what's going on in different topics. Uh, so let's just put yoga in. And as you can see, <clears throat> it says bring your A game. So in other words, this is one they consider to be quite competitive. Demand is high, that's really good, uh, but the number of courses is high. And then the medium, uh, sort of like average income is $26 per month, uh, but the top is $1,600. So obviously doing one course on yoga is not going to be you know, replacing your full-time income. However, doing a series and then moving into other, uh, you know, other uh, similar topics, which could be like healthy eating or uh, meditation, you can you can expand and again the point of this is not to create a full-time income uh, from Udemy it is to create really good warm leads and they pay for themselves which is the which is the good part right so you may make enough for a cup of coffee you may make enough for a nice dinner out you may make, make enough to pay your car payment you may make, make enough to pay your your uh, mortgage or a great trip to you know hawaii or florida or italy uh, you know just it, you know who knows i don't know how much you're going to make i don't know how hard you're going to work at it all i know is is that the people who make one course generally speaking do very poorly the people that work at making 5 10 15 courses are amazed at what happens in their life in terms of how their businesses grow and they're starting to make enough money from Udemy that uh, uh, that part of it is a good feeling as well. So continuing down, you can see that uh, lots of searches for it. Uh, here are the main keywords. Here are other topics. Okay, so meditation, fitness, anatomy, teacher training. Teacher training would probably be an excellent one. And again, high student to demand. Lots of courses. I always look more for the high student demand than I do for the number of courses because <clears throat> people want to continue to, to learn, right? So if someone took Susie's course and someone took Joe's course and someone took um, Angie's course, you know, when they're done, they want more, right? It's just the nature of the beast. We want to learn more, you know, we're really into it. And so you need to constantly be adding more courses, both for your own students so they stay with you, and also for all the other students that take all the other courses and want more. And you can see again, search volume is high. And now there are different channels. So Udemy Discovery, which is uh, course recommendations, email, homepage recommendations, that sort of stuff. And Udemy Search, which is people come to the site and search. And then outside sources, <clears throat> uh, instructor promos and Udemy ads and affiliates. And you can see that the primary topic is uh, in 112 courses, which is really a small number of courses. And uh, the enrollment is going to the highest rated. 60% of people go to the highest rated courses. So you have to work to make sure your courses are rated high. Here's a couple examples. A Pilates teacher, English as a second language, Reiki, Reiki. Rockstar teaching. 
yoga shred. <laughs> okay. So it gives you a, a, some a really good information. And what I always look for predominantly is student demand and monthly revenue. If it's over a grand, I'm happy. If it's student is demand is high, then I'm happy. What we're looking for ideally when we're really you know getting into this, if you weren't just wanting to teach what you want to teach, was high demand and low number of courses. That's kind of the ideal situation. And pet care, it has a star. <clears throat> I always like to look at those ones because that usually means good opportunity. And here, this topic is a great opportunity. Student demand is average, but courses are low. And of course, the monthly revenue is low. So you have to understand that we're in a high growth field. Online video is going through the roof. TV is as popular as it's ever been. Uh, you know, movies and video games are just, uh, you know, huge. And <clears throat> online video courses are also experiencing high growth. So if you can find something where, like this, you know, yeah, there's not a lot of monthly revenue because there's not a lot of courses for there to be that. And then you say, okay, let's look at pet care, let's look at dog care, cat care, dog training, pet training, if you're into those sort of things and see what happens and again you get a chance to look at what the competition is like you know they have two ratings so you know that means low low students 37 still low like these are all really low so you have you know if you're into animals then there's huge opportunity here uh, to, 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 to go into that area now it's obviously not I'm talking to you not as a pet owner or you know as you as a pet owner or someone that does stuff for pets but uh, there's definitely a huge market in in looking after dogs and cats and and other animals and, and making them healthy as they as they get older uh, and that might be an area you want to expand into but I just wanted to show you kind of how uh, this part of Udemy works how you can just wander as you can see you just go in and you'd be looking and looking and looking and seeing you know what topics are really popular what topics aren't and deciding how that fits to what it is that you're doing and maybe you want to do recce for pets and people will come in they bring their dogs or their or their cats or their hamsters and you do a recce session with them as a group it would be kind of cool what I want to do now is just give you a quick overview of the back end of Udemy. Um, obviously this is not an exhaustive 45 minutes on everything you need to know about doing online video courses, but I thought it would be helpful to just sort of walk you through uh, the back end of Udemy. Okay, so when you're in the a course, we're in sell the experience, it's in draft mode. Okay, um, they have three sections, plan your course, create your content, publish your course. So the first part is targeting your students, where we are. Like, what will your students learn in this course? And you can answer that and then how to use. And then you can add another one, usually two or three or four in each section are the course requirements. You need to be fit, you need to have a computer, you need to be a PhD in mathematics. Who are your target students, right? So this is because some people are coming and they just look for, you know, how to program Ruby on Rails. And other people, well, I want to know how to, you know, this is for yoga students. This is for students, of, this, you know, who are your idea? They're yoga students. They're health, you know, high health concerns, blah, blah, blah. And then, so that's the target your students. Uh, I always recommend, particularly in the beginning, you put the test video, which means you do a 30 second to one minute talk on anything you want, send it to them, tell them the camera you used, the microphone you used, what you used to edit it, and then they look at it and say, yeah, that meets our, our quality standards. No, it doesn't. And uh, then, because you don't want to spend hours and hours and hours and weeks creating your course and then have them say, sorry, not good enough. The next section we want to go to is the curriculum. And this is basically your outline, okay? And you have sections and you have lectures. So, um, 
and then there's a description. So the title of the lecture and the description will be shown to everybody. The content, the video that you add, and the resources will be only for your students. So the idea is, is that we do an outline and we put it in here. And then when you're recording, you just follow your outline, record it, and you're done. And as you can see, we have a fairly extensive outline for this course. And then captions are closed captions, which are really cool. Udemy does them. And then I recommend once they do it, uh, let them do it, and then go in and edit them. And then you have your course landing page. And this, all this information needs to be filled out. So the course title, you need the subtitle, you need the course description. What are they going to learn? It's in English. Is it a beginner, intermediate, expert, or all levels? It's in marketing or lifestyle. I mean, these are your major categories. And then the subcategories. And then you have a course image that you have to make. You upload it. It's always a good idea to have a promotional video. That's here. And then you've got yourself and your instructors. Uh, and then you have the pricing and coupons. So you can create a coupon for your course. I always set the price at the maximum amount. Udemy is all about deep discounts. So we say, hey, it's a two-hour course. It's worth 200 bucks. You can buy it for 10 Wow. And so we're used to binge watching with Netflix. Now we're going to get people binge buying, which is really cool. And then you can make a coupon code. It can be free or discounted price, however many coupons you want. And you can even put a deadline in to uh, how long the coupon is good till. The price. So you can say, I'm going to have a $9.99 coupon. It's going to be good for the weekend. I'm going to post it everywhere over the weekend. And at the end of the weekend, it's back to regular price. Create the coupon, get the link, and you're good to go. And then communications. This is a welcome message and a congratulations message that's sent automatically. So I do a message for everybody as soon as they join. It says, hi, so happy to have you in the course. This is what you're going to learn. And uh, if you have any questions, there's just, and you, when you join up a bunch of courses, you get to see emails from other instructors and pick and choose the best of what they say. And then when they're done, congratulations, you're done. We're really happy about that. Make sure you do this, do that, some, you know, some inspiration and some, uh, you know, basically it's congratulations, inspiration, keep going, and make sure you look for our other courses. And then you submit for review and it gets reviewed. So that's kind of the, uh, that's basically it for the back end. So what I do is I work with experts who don't want to be worried about all the muss and the fuss. I create courses in under three hours of your time. The courses are usually 60 to 90 minutes long. I have a PDF that I send people. They fill it out. They take 20 minutes to do that. We take about two hours to record the course. We either use Zoom, Skype, uh, Google Hangouts. It just depends on where you are. I have cameras, but you know I, I travel the world. Right now I'm in Vancouver, on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. But last year I was in Africa and Europe. And Central and South America, so uh, recording via, you know, Skype or whatever is usually what I do. Or I may Skype in, and you may have a really good camera, and we record you with your camera, but I'm there as the producer and the director. You put all the information out. I create it in a way that fits with with learning, because there's a big difference between actually doing something and teaching it, and oftentimes you, you don't realize all the things that you know and you may miss out some steps. So because I'm kind of the new set of eyes, I'm really good at putting these courses together so that they do get 4.5 out of 5 stars all the time. People really like them. They tell their friends about them and that sort of stuff. I look after the editing. I look after the everything that has to do with the copywriting and the descriptions and, and the images and everything else for the course. So basically, you show up, you talk, <coughs> I do everything else. The course goes live. You get we split the uh, we split the uh, the revenues. I do it as a partnership with my co-instructors. So I want to leave you with this. 
The health industry is massive. And one of the ways that you can differentiate yourself from everybody else that's doing the modality that you're doing is through online video courses. And it gives you a great, like one of the things that I like to do is I to take screenshots of the five-star reviews as they come in and post them on Facebook. And it's like, I'm never telling anybody, oh, my podcast course is great, or my EFT course is great, or my yoga course is great. There's Joe or Susie or Sam that's saying that for me, and there's a screenshot of it. I didn't make it up. And that works really good. So it's not like you ever have to do um, the hard sell. I don't believe in that at all. I believe totally in problem solving as a way of, of building your business and through referrals. So if you're interested in knowing more about how you can have an online course up in under three hours, you can get a hold of me at scott at patonmail, P-A-T-O-N-M-A-I-L dot com. And I'd be happy to talk to you and see if this is something that would fit in with your business plans. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.